Dear D&D, as requested, and as a token of my appreciation of great pyjamas, here's an A to Z of my favourite things about the festive season. I thought you'd appreciate some carefully drawn note cards to celebrate. A is for great arrivals, and also Auntie Beryl. It's essential that I avoid her lips touching any area on or around my face. Z says candlelight is essential. How did Scrooge win the football game? Who goes to Christmas past? I'll never understand that jokes, but they do bring everyone together. <laughs> F is for flattering angles, immortalised on the internet forever. Lucky for her sake, it is the season for glamorous upgrades. There's not a lot of peace and quiet with this law about. Hosting is obviously a huge part of the festive season, but it does require a lot of improvisation. Uncle Jack's always been good at that. Besides, a slipper is but a low-riding oven mitt. J is of course for feeling jolly. You can always rely on Gran for that after a few sherries, just as long as it doesn't lead to too much K kissing. Yuck. The antithesis of this though is lunch, where more is definitely always more. So an elasticated waistband really helps nail the balance between smart and smart with your outfit choice. Our philosophy is not getting dressed for the dinner table. Occasions like this call for family pictures and platters of pudding. Quality control is essential though. It's burnt anyway. Which is why good wrapping must have ribbons. They always mean you're in for a good surprise. Once everything is unwrapped, tinselitis tends to take hold of the family, especially dad. But the key is to keep it understated while also forgetting about the volume control. Then, the morning after tinselitis strikes, we have to walk off the excess, unless, instead, extreme weather forces us to stay in and expand our minds instead of our horizons. However exhausting it might be, you deserve to be the main character this year. Which brings us nicely to... Zed.